When starting out on your first internship, you want to start with your resume. You need to make sure that you're representing yourself in the best light. And there may be some of you who have already created a resume in the past from a part-time job. Great, it gives you a foundation. But if you're starting fresh, that's okay too. Remember that resumes are living documents that you will be revising and tweaking, revising and tweaking, and revising and tweaking for years to come. Each new semester you will have information and experience to add to your resume. But today, I'm going to share with you five key tips to either get you started or revise your resume for your internship search. First, you want to be employer focused. The information you provide needs to be relevant to them. Very relevant because you only have mere seconds to make an impression. So they need to find that relevant information quickly and easily. It helps to get into their head about what they care about and highlight those parts. One of the easiest ways to do that is the job or internship description. The employer has already told you in that description what they're interested in finding, so use that language to guide you. Next, you will want to highlight your achievements and big responsibilities. This is about putting yourself in the best light, so you want to focus on the big stuff that you did. They want the most important nuggets. This is also your way to demonstrate your skills and accomplishments to them. You may be thinking that you don't have a lot of experience yet, so how do I show my skills? It's a great question. The answer is create a related experience section. Internship resumes are distinct from your traditional resume in that you have this section to highlight your skills through class projects or related club activities. If you notice on Emily's resume, she highlights her eboard role and a class project. Now that we've spoken about the content, let's look at the format. It's important to use a consistent format for your reader to quickly scan and see the most important items. There is not one correct format and you'll see dozens of different options, but the key is making sure that anytime you bold or underline something, you do it consistently throughout the document. For example, you'll notice on Emily's resume that first it's just one page, which is important for an intern resume. You'll also notice that she has capitalized and underlined each of the headings and all the company names are bolded and job titles italicized. She also has moved all the dates to the right side. And finally, the last tip, spell check. I know it seems obvious, but you want to make sure that a simple mistake does not take you out of the running. Let's recap. When creating a resume, be employer focused. Highlight your accomplishments. Create a relevant experience section. Use a consistent format and please spell check. Once you have a resume crafted, come on down to the office, LT150, and we can review it with you.